If you're looking for crypto data, then Dune Analytics is one of the best tools. Moreover, it's available for totally free. You can just go to dune.com and start exploring. So all the queries that you can ask are written in SQL, so you will be able to actually see what other people are looking for, or you can just browse through all the dashboards available. So if I click right now on the Discover dashboards, uh, I'll be able to see what people are looking for. So for example, I could look at uh, data visualization cheat sheet, one of the most popular one, and I can see what people are uh, visualiz visualizing right now. So you can see the, the uh, different intraday volatility. This, for example, looks like a template that I could use for one of the coins. I would probably just have to ask for the particular coins. Uh, this is a cheat sheet. But for example, if I were to go for a particular token, so let me, for example, this one is uh, pretty famous, the NFT market overview. Uh, there's a bunch of them. Uh, this should be created. Yeah. So for example, you can see live all the things related to NFTs, NFT market, for example, the secondary sales, uh, total volume, uh, how many trades were made, uh, how many collections are there with 100 plus ETH volume, uh, 5,000 uh, plus ETH volume, uh, so all the blue chips definitely, and for example, the NFTs ranked by traded volume on different exchanges. So number one is Mibits, then there's Terraforms, and mostly the reason for that being that uh, people were trading that on LuxRare where you get the bonus for trading and there were no fees attached for trading those NFTs. So that's the reason for the total volume. Then you have CryptoPunks and then a bunch of other collections as well. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, Let's go back to browsing the dashboards. There's a bunch of more things that you can see. Uh, oh, for example, this one by Erchan. This is about the OpenSea, uh, one of the most uh, famous dashboards on Dune, uh, widely used by many people. Um, yeah, and the cool thing is that if you start clicking on those uh, dashboards, then uh, you can actually see everything related to the dashboard. It's all written in SQL. It's really easy to adapt to all, uh, your own uses if you want to. Uh, so that's really cool because you can make a copy of that dashboard. You can add things you want to add. So if you're doing any kind of research job, it's really easy to start adapting these dashboards to your own scenario. Uh, it's not only NFTs. This, uh, these two particulars that, I have, I've, that I've been showing you for, for now are related to NFTs because you can see everything uh, like the monthly fees, volume, and so on. Uh, how many traders are there on OpenSea? Many different things, not only on Ethereum, but also on Polygon. Uh, Solana as well. Solana is new on OpenSea uh, and so on. But you can also see different things related to uh, particular tokens. So for example, there's this one, Stepin Data. I'm just clicking randomly on different things. Stepin is a coin related to move to earn, basically. Uh, there's a bunch of chains that you can see uh, the, the coin on, like uh, Solana, uh, Binance Smart Chain, and then Ethereum. And basically you have those different coins. This one is in Japanese, uh, so I won't help you much because I don't speak Japanese, uh, but there's a bunch of other things. Or you can search for particular dashboards as well. So for example, let's see, uh, I want to see how the uh, Shiba token is distributed. Uh, maybe, there's a to maybe there's a dashboard for Shiba. Uh, so it seems there is, uh, and I can start looking at how many token holders are there, uh, a bunch of different tokens related to Shiba, uh, and definitely the hourly contract interaction. So maybe I can see, for example, how people are interacting with a ship at a given point in time, maybe looking for uh, some kind of alpha related to how SHIB is performing, how many people interacted, total SHIB, SHIBA swap users since its inception and so on. Uh, of course, again, I can click everything I want here and I will have all the data available. This is the magic of Dune, that basically uh, you can look into any kind of SQL code, any kind of graph you like, and just start changing different things. So for example, if I were to change that from SHIB to some other token, uh, because for example, I want to compare that to some other doc coin, then that's definitely possible and it's pretty easy. I just have to find, for example, here, that should be uh, the Ethereum address uh, of the token uh, that I'm looking for. And you can see, 
this should be pretty easy to interpret, right? There is uh, this uh, token address and then I have the block time when I'm starting to, uh, to measure things. Uh, it's starting in July 2021. Uh, and that's it, I can copy that and uh, do my own Dune, uh, Dune Analytics dashboard available for anyone. Uh, so it's really, really easy that way. I can, for example, look for particular dashboards like DeFi, maybe let's uh, go, oh, yeah. Uh, so look for particular dashboards in DeFi uh, and look into something I'm interested in. So for example, there's uh, a popular dashboard because you can see how many people are there on the right uh, related to DEX metrics. So I can go into DEX metrics and that probably uh, measures all the exchanges, all the decentralized exchanges, the volume, you have the 24 hours volume. So probably like Uniswap, yeah, I can see all the, uh, all the market shares, so all the, all the volumes. Of course, the number one here is Uniswap, but then I have Curve, Dodo, Balance, SushiSwap, uh, uh, 0x Native and so on. ShibaSwap that we've seen in other dashboards. Uh, and then I have all those cool graphs related to, for example, the market share. Again, if I'm interested in how that's uh, computed, I can go into that uh, and see what this particular person uh, is doing and how they compute this particular graph. Uh, then again, basically you can find anything on Dune or if you can't find it, because for example, there's some kind of a new token that you want to measure or some other metric that's like super exotic, uh, then it's probably easy to find something similar and adapt it for your own use. So even if you're not super versatile in SQL, it should be easy to start using Dune and creating your own diagrams. As you can see, uh, there's everything related to anything happening in crypto from NFTs to DeFi uh, to different tokens. Uh, so anything you're interested in, you probably will be able to find that here on Dune. So the address is dune.com. I will give the link down below. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Please do it right now so that more followers equal more interesting product reviews. And see you in the next episode.